Well, what's going on, guys? We are going to do a bank fishing video. Brian, Brian is uh, dumping Sorry, ice, I'm cool a, right as here. you can tell. But we're going to go catch bait below this dam. Right there. And then we're going to go catfish from the bank because my boat's in the shop. So we'll get her done. It is the beginning of June. This spawn for catfish is probably going to be on or at least getting to that. So we're going to fish back in an area where they'll move back into spawn from the bank. But we're going to get bait from the bank first and then go use it to catch big catfish. <laughs> And as you can tell, the uh, what are those called? Cicadas? Yeah, they are the hatch is going on, my guy. And I dumped the ice everywhere. It's fine. It's all good. There'll be five million people down here too, so it's gonna be a blast. That's why I usually like fishing from the, the boat, but some people don't have that option sometimes, so we're gonna go bank fish. Caught many a fish from the bank here in the day and falling on many of these rocks throughout the years when I did not have a boat. So we'll see if my uh, reflexes are still there. It has been a while since I have climbed this embankment. What are you seeing? Really? That's cool. I hate walking on these dang rocks. I'm gonna walk over here. Boy, this is how you bust your butt. Oh, he spit it right at the bank. Spit it right at the bank. Hello. Hello, Skipjack, my old friend. I've come to see you once again. He's reeling at a pretty fast clip, you can see there. Let's see if he gets one on. I am in the get whacked in the face zone on the hook set. But I will do what I must for the good shot. There he goes. Boop. There he is, Mr. Skipjack. And we'll show you the rigging. You've seen this before, but we're doing it from the bank and the Foley spoons from the bank will let you throw it so much further. Let's see, this is a, what is this? This is just the three quarter inch one, one and three, well, this is the one and five eighths one, it's a medium size. And then he's got the, the trolling sinker up there so he can get some distance on it. I don't know, we could, we could hit that wall over there. Yeah, we could easily throw it over the top of that wing wall. Let's see if he throws one out here. I'm gonna be the cameraman right now. Just an easy lob. If you use braid, 10 to 15 pound test, you can just throw it a mile, which is what you need when you're skipjack fishing from the bank. You gotta be able to throw it a distance sometimes. Because at this dam, we're lucky enough to be able to walk right down here below uh, where the, the generators are pushing water out, but at some other places you can't get this close. And uh, sometimes the current seam will be way far out. So you gotta cast like a mile out to it. But here we're pretty lucky. He's just gonna throw it out there, let it sink for a couple seconds, and then he's gonna reel it. They're pretty active right now, so he's reeling it pretty quick, as you can tell right there. And then he's just occasionally popping it. There we go. See, he got that depth and he let it sink. And he's on. That's what you gotta do. Sometimes they won't be super active, so you gotta let it sink down a little bit or where their feed net's just not right at the top of the water column. That's a good one. There we go. It's a good skipper. But when it's it being so hot right now, you need to make sure these immediately go on ice because if you don't, they're just gonna get nasty. And contrary to popular belief, big catfish do not like nasty baits. So these have got ice on the bottom. We're gonna shake it up and then put some more. Let's see, see if, if Mark can catch one while we're yeah. Oh, this one. Oh, there he is. 
They're all kind of stacked up right behind the boil right now. Yeah. Water tends to like probably in the 70s, getting close to 80. But below these dams, it's cooler water and it's got flow. It's just by far the easiest place to catch skip jack and bait if you're going to do it or try to do it, especially from the bank. Catching them on the main lake during the summer is really hard. So we're going to do a bank fishing video down here um, to show you how to do it. Well, there you got one on now. Little one. There's one. I'm going to catch a couple more. We've already got a cooler. We've got, got enough for bait tonight to fish from the bank, and I really don't like taking more than you need for one trip. So we'll do a couple more casts here just to show you the kind of cadence on it. Just going to throw it out there. I'm letting it sink like three or four seconds just to get it deeper, and then I'm going to start reeling with my rod tip down, just constant reeling and pop, pop, pop. And you can change up your speed and your depth just to see how active they are and the size of the spoon. Um, the smaller spoon will work sometimes a whole lot better than the bigger ones when they're not super active. Yeah, I didn't get that one on, get one on that cast. We're going to try something different on the next one. Sometimes that. Yeah, there's one. Okay. See, it's a speed thing today. It's a decent one. Dang, I just pulled off. Oh well. Let's see if we can get another one. But Mark, what's the difference between speed and your, your flick and your action there? So the speed is how fast I'm reeling. Whenever you pop it, it makes the, the spoon flutter and fall. So sometimes they don't want it uh, popping around. They just want a steady retrieve. You just got to experiment and figure that out. But it seems like they're decently active today. We've not had much trouble catching bait. No. They're going to be like this at all the dams on the Tennessee River right now. But uh, we'll do one more cast and we'll call it. We'll do this uh, hike back to the... The launch, yeah, we got a little bit of a parking lot. I have fallen again so many times in these rocks because, as you guys have probably could tell already, I'm the clumsiest person alive. <laughs> so. All right, we got to end. We got to end it on a high note. Yeah, when well, that current circles back around. Ah, that's good. We got enough. We won't be greedy. We yeah. caught the bait from the bank now, and now we will go catfish from the bank. So you guys can learn how to catch some big old fish from the bank. Bank to bank. Bank to bank. The fun part of carrying this cooler full of bait all the way back that way to the concrete. <laughs> yeah, Brian ain't really excited. And definitely can't go that way. We gotta go straight back the way we came. That was a dang haul. My legs were already sore. I went to the gym this morning and I uh, regret choosing to do a shore fishing video after that, but whatever. We caught some bait. We're gonna go catch some big old fish. But first, let's just take a look at this gorgeous weather, y'all. I'm real lucky to live here in East Tennessee. It's one of the prettiest places you can find. And old Brian <laughs> found his way back to some flat ground where he could roll it. Work smarter, not harder, folks. <laughs> He'd be rolling it instead of carrying it through the rocks. <laughs> oh boy, it's toasty. Mine is toasty. I have ordered a new camera and have it. I'm just waiting for the battery stick and stuff to come in. So this video is again going to be shot from my phone. But we get it, we getting it done. At the very minimal, you guys have now seen how to find skipjack from the bank and catch them during the summer when the current's going. Remember, go with the flow. TVA and most of the power generating dams have, um, oh look, there's a cicada, have an app where you can look up the generation schedule when they're pumping water. And a good rule of thumb is go when they have the most flow. And what you wanna look at is not how many generators are going, 
but how many cubic feet per second, which is the amount of water they've got pushing out of it. So that's your uh, pro tip of the day from the Nerdy Fish King. You know I got that Baby Yoda shirt on too. <laughs> it's gonna be covered in slime by the end of the night. When you get back after catching bait, make sure they are really good and covered in ice. We'll probably put another bag of ice on top of these just to keep them cool. You do not want your bait to get rotten for big catfish. And I would advise clean your cooler out at the end of the night with a little water because you don't want all that nastiness in there. You want it as fresh and natural as possible. And if you can catch fresh bait before you go fishing immediately, do that. What's going on guys? This is Mark Cooper with Top Knox Fishing. We are down here from the bank. <laughs> That's staying in too. <laughs> this is Brian and Gabby and Zach, the other ginger. And uh, we're gonna try to bust some of their personal bests on some catfish. We already missed one run. Brian and I caught bait earlier, so uh, we'll see. There, Brian. That's some flathead candy right there. Flathead I'll call candy. It right now, right now. We're gonna get a big old flathead on that. On that big old fresh skipjack head. Big head bait. So we got the big old head bait double hook rig that Brian called out for catching a big old fish. Four ounces of weight. You don't have to have eight here because there's no current. We're in a big back bay. Um, and this is an area where they'll move it off the main channel to come spawn back in these bays. So we're just positioned there. And I got four ounces of weight. It's just enough to let me throw it a mile out there. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, Watch for your tree limbs when you're doing this from the bank. Just cinder bud. And then we're gonna be using these rock type rod holders. They are free and everywhere. And we're gonna run them on clickers. Yonk. So we're gonna take the one with the most line on it way over here, which is also the deepest one. And this reel also happens to have one of the louder clickers. So, Just so we can hear it. Hopefully we hear it. If not, whenever we pick it up. It may be in the water. <laughs> That'd be rough. We'll Who's see that? the splash. We'll hear it. And, uh, you know, it's been a long week. Decided to come out here and do a little relaxing. And what a better place. to do it. All right, we're gonna throw this one as far as I can. I think that is 50 yards? Uh, a little bit, it backlashed a little bit, probably yeah. 50, 60. But that channel kind of swoops in right it here. Swoops out. So it's pretty deep right there. It should be good. Zing. Excellent I'm, catfish rod trigger. Right the best of the best. Best of the best. We got some <laughs> Bass Pro Brawler Trophies, baby. Brawler Trophy. The best one. We don't have any leader line, and I think he's just kind of got this wrapped around the braid right there. Yeah. It's perfect. It's going to be this great. One, this one's a little bit more better. He's got that one at least tied on some kind of split or some kind of swivel eye thing. Yeah. So let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. That looks great. Oh it's yeah. Just it's just fantastic. <laughs> we cast in the uh, the catfish brawler rods. Brawler, brawler boy. Is that how far you usually throw them out here? Really? They'll come up. They must get really active. They will come up. I promise. And then uh, the fancy rock type rod holders. We're gonna have to get it real secure here because we're just gonna lock them down. We may ought to just pile some rocks on top of that. I'd say that's good enough for government work. I don't know, dog. I feel like that's going to go in the water. All right. Don't flip I mean, it's your stuff, but uh, it'd be a daggum shame if 
these excellent pieces of machinery end up in the lake. Okay, sure. <laughs> well, well, I didn't get the hook set on, but this is a good catfish. Real, real. I'm reeling. <laughs> Watch your language. I know, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to beep all that out. I'm sorry. She's got her personal best on there. I can't. <laughs> her personal best up to this point was, uh, I think, nothing. Nothing. Like a. a oh, that's a nice blue cat. He slammed it. Look at that blue cat. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, get him. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. Heck yeah. Got him! Yeah. <laughs> he slammed it too. That's a good one. Yeah. How do you feel, Gabby? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fish. Oh my Probably 10, 12 pound blue cat. Doubting my rod. <laughs> <laughs> the dang brawler. <laughs> the brawler trophy rod. <laughs> I just realized I wasn't recording. With all, I had my phone up. I got I all of that. For the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we gotta pick it up. We gotta unhook it. Right? Yeah. Someone hold the that, how's that hook set hook's look? Up. Ooh, that was Ooh. a good one. He, he slammed, slammed it. it. Got him. That's a nice little fish from the yeah. bank there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? That thing's huge. <laughs> Can I pick it up? Yeah. yeah. Let me get the hook out for you. We'll get some pictures Ouch. with it here in a second. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was her. I don't know that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He is. Damn, it's a dirty bitch. <laughs> You're really gonna have to pinch down. Ow, it hurts. Do it with both hands if you can. It hurts, it hurts. You, you it hurts. Yeah, it's I gonna got tear it. you up. I got it, I got it. Got it? All right, what you're going to want to do, we'll walk down here. Careful, that's slippery. We'll just lay him down right here. Just lay him down. All right. And I'll put his head. There you go. You see how I'm holding his tail? Yeah. And I'll try to flip his belly over. <laughs> well, there he goes. he's probably fine. He's trying to figure out. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's more slippery than any of us thought. Gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I miss bank fishing. <laughs> Look, he's all yeah. torn up from trying to start spawning. <laughs> what do you think about that, Gabby? Back and forth. Oh my gosh. Back and forth. Like that, there That's you go. What I'm doing. There's a stick. He's probably ready to go. Push him out in that deep water. And see how he just ghosted there he off? Goes. Oh my goodness. Catfish are cool as heck. What kind of catfish? That was a blue cat? Yeah, that was a blue cat. That's awesome. Nice. Oh, I landed in the whatever that poison stuff is. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I slipped pretty good. I got soaked though. Both so. of y'all. Yeah, we busted it. Well, we got a fish and my left butt cheek hurts. <laughs> well, guys, I forgot to film an atro again. Um, Gabby caught her personal best catfish on the janky rod, which literally happens every single time you throw one out. So just be sure to do that because you'll have some fun. Uh, we didn't say out super late, but we did get the chance to put somebody on their personal best and watch that excitement. That was the biggest fish she's ever caught. And I think the biggest fish she had caught up to that point was a little bluegill. So that was a crazy uh, jump in fish sizes. But, you know, sometimes it's not all about catching the biggest fish in the world, but the time you have while you're out there doing it. We got to enjoy some good quality hanging out time and that sunset and just some good relaxing time during the summer. I really like night fishing during the summer because one, it's cooler and I'm a ginger and I burn really easily. And two, there's not as many people out on the lake. As you could tell, there were a million pleasure boaters out there running around, which will drive you nuts when you're out on your boat. 
So this is just kind of the time of the year where you take it easy a little bit if you're a cat fisherman or you get out there super early or in the evening at night and hit it hard. But that was just a cool little bank fishing video. We caught some bait from the bank, hoofed it all the way back to the truck from the dam, and then we uh, went and did a little bank fishing for catfish. And I hope you guys can do some of that too and you learned something from this video and had fun joining with us.